72 kilometers, 26,000 crores. The Nama Metro Phase 2 is the next big thing happening in the southern queen of Bangalore. Bangalore is country's fifth largest metropolitan city and the third most populated one. It's witnessing a tremendous pressure on its infrastructure due to a rapid growth in industry, trade and commerce that attributes to its very rapid population growth. In such a situation, Bangalore is left behind other cities when it comes to a rail-based rapid transit. Although Bangalore has managed to get a metro network almost a decade ago, it has hardly improved the traffic conditions on the road. Moreover, it doesn't have a stable suburban railway network like Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. In such a situation, the Phase 1 metro comprising of the green and purple lines doesn't seem to be sufficient enough to keep the city running. That is why a larger, more efficient and a more modern Phase 2 metro was decided to be made. Phase 2 stands 72 kilometers big with different extensions of existing green and purple lines as well as making two new corridors called Red Line and Yellow Line. In a more detailed way, the Green Line will be extended northwards from Hesargatta Cross to Bangalore International Exhibition Centre adding 3.77 kilometers and southwards from Yelachinnahalli to Anjanapura Township adding 6.29 kilometers. This will take the Green Line from 24.20 km to 34.26 km. Further, the Purple Line is being extended westwards from Mysuru Road to Kangeri, adding 8.81 km. A 15.5 km eastward extension is also being made from Bayappanahalli to Whitefield. This will make the Purple Line 42.53 km long, which is actually more than the entire existing operational network of Bangalore Metro. Among the new lines that are being made, the longest one is Gottigiri to Nagawara called the Red Line Metro. It will be 21.25 km long as a second north-south corridor that runs almost parallel to the Green Line, intersecting the Purple Line at MG Road. Next comes the Yellow Line that will be running 18.82 km from RV Road to Bummasandra. Apart from that, a third line has also emerged as Bangalore Metro's airport line. It connects Kempegoda International Airport with the rest of the city. Initially planned as the Airport Express Metro line, it's better not to discuss about it right now and leave it over a separate video because there are a lot of things to be discussed. With a booming economy, Bangalore cannot afford to have an infrastructure that lags behind. So to improve the situation on roads, phase 2 can be a boom. For a city like Bangalore, even 4 to 5 metro lines are not enough. So Indian Railways has come up with an idea to build a suburban railway. We'll discuss that in a separate video. With such a big network, total cost of the phase 2 has been escalated to more than 32,000 crores. As a future plan, a further phase 3 metro network is also being planned which will further help decongest the traffic. Due to many land hurdles and permissions, the project has been delayed multiple times. Among the first opening phase 2 sections, the Yelachinnahalli cross to Anjanapura township on the Green Line might be completed by August 2020, following which Mysuru road to Kangeri stretch on the Purple Line might be completed by October 2020. In 2021, Whitefield might also get its metro. The Yellow Line also has strong possibility to be inaugurated in the same year. Among the last opening sections, the Hesargatta to BIEC extension of the Green Line might be inaugurated in 2022, whereas the Red Line from Gottigiri to Nagawara might be opened in 2024. The Phase 2 will initially have three coach trains running at a maximum speed of 80 kmph. Each train will be 2.88 meters wide and will be using 750 volt DC third rails. Please note that these informations are based on detailed project report made by DMRC in 2011 and BMRCL might improvise them according to situation. With everything moving at a steady pace, phase 2 is a matter of a couple of years to be stabilized. We know we are late and this is our first video on Bangalore. But more and more content will be given on Bangalore Metro as work progresses. Subscribe to this channel for more news updates and reports dedicated only to Metro Rail projects and other rapid transit systems. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.